Okay, so we're ready to go on an, um, with another project. And I am going to be demonstrating how to do a woman's breastplate. And um, for this demonstration, I will be using smaller bone and smaller beads, smaller bells. I think in your packet, you do have um, the bigger bells, I do believe, or cowrie shells that you'll be tying on the ends. So these are the four inch um, bones that you will be using for your breastplate and then the pony, pony beads. Um, I think I'll be using these little ones, but it will show you um, how to construct it um, regardless of the, sh the size. Also, this is my size of bead. This is the size you will be using. I will also be using a needle because my, my holes in my, um, I'll call these spacers, are um, smaller. Your holes, you will be able to just put through with the sinew, so you won't need uh, a needle, unless you want to use a needle, that will, that will be fine too. So I have inserted a paper in there that I had um, drafted up. This is exactly the count of beads and bones that you will be using the um, my pencil. So here you'll see these um, plain, those are the spacers. So you'll have two spacers and three small ones, okay? Um, in your packet, you should have probably 170 pony beads or over, we put extra, you'll have 62 of the artificial bones, which are four inches. You'll have three pieces of five foot, excuse me, um, sinew, as well as 10 pieces of eight to 10 piece um, foot um, sinew. You'll have this strips of leather, which are these one, two, three, four, five, six of them that have five holes and then you'll have the leather, the longer leather strips, you should have two of those. So one, two, and then you'll have the steps one through six or one through seven that will explain what you need to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half, which um, would probably be helpful for you as well. Um, I'm gonna tape that down so that I can use this half here for when I start. So I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. Okay, so what I usually do is have a pretty big space. If you have a long table, you can um, definitely go ahead and count these beads. There are six of them. So I would do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then of course your bell. And then we have a bone. And then we have two. And then we would incorporate the, the longer spacer, then two beads, a bone, two beads. So we're right here. We incorporate another spacer. And then we do two, one, two. And then we do a bone. Just follow your your paper to um, we put a spacer so we grab our shorter spacer and two beads so I would lay it out on the floor or a table if it's long enough so that you're able to see because right there I probably would have put a bone and then sometimes I'll string it all together and then I'll be like oh my gosh I totally forgot a bead um, it's easier to see this way. So there we go. That's one line. You can line them up, but for this, I am just going to um, start here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your bell and you're going to, going to push this a little bit, put it, put your sinew, your 10 foot sinew in half and put your bell on. Okay, for you, you guys will just be able to put those sinews together 
and start stringing your beads. Don't split your sinew, just use the whole piece of sinew. Okay, but I am going to use a needle and you're more than welcome to use a needle as well. I didn't include it in your packet, but you can definitely use one. So here we go. Six beads. That's five, six, and then a bone. Okay, and then two beads. So you can follow along with your picture. We are here. Now on your spacers, you do have a fuzzy side and a smooth side. Oops, that one looks like it ripped, but we'll just do it because we're just doing a demonstration. I usually put my smooth side on the bottom so that my, shy, um, my furry side is showing upward. Um, then two beads. And a bone, two beads. And then we're here, right here. So we do a spacer, okay? We continue the process of putting two beads, a bone, two beads, and a spacer. Two beads. A bone and two spacers. And I mean, sorry, two beads and a. Now we get to put our spacer on. A spacer, two beads, a bone. Two beads and a spice spacer. Okay, so we're here at the end. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two. So what you're gonna do is just um, let this extra piece here hang. Okay, so we're ready for our next piece. Unravel your one of your 10 foot pieces or eight foot pieces. Um, I got a thread mine. Wait, I can't thread it yet. So I'm going to again put that there halfway. Okay, and then here we go. You repeat the process. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six, a bone, and two beads, and through the spacer. Again, to keep you in on track, you can always lay these out so that you know what's you know, coming next. You can also put them here. Okay, so you can continue doing that. For this, since we're limited on time, I'm going to just pick my beads and bones up and go do them as I go. Just as long as you follow this pattern here. You're gonna repeat this for five, five rows. Whoopsie. I take that off. At least I caught it before I got any further. So, 
pull that through and we'll put that on then go through the spacer so you'll do this five times which will be take you here to this middle okay so let's just keep on repeating that oops <laughs> gonna put six on but I'm not paying attention here six again two beads a bone two beads and through the spacer so we should start looking like this then two beads a spacer two beads and back through the spacer okay so there's another row and then I just take my you have a needle on there just take it off I'm trying to pull this off here okay and you just let these strings hang so you see those so now we're here we've done one two and now we're here on three so up here one two two and now we're here on three so you have one two three more to go so you want to fill these up and you're going to repeat that process for the next three so i will um, stop the recording and then when i come back we'll be in the middle where i need you to be okay so keep on working Okay, so I've um, almost completed all five, one, two, three, four, five, and you have here, sorry, I moved my camera a little bit, five, one, two, three, four, five, okay, so I'm coming down to the, the end of my fifth row. And my last two beads and through the spacer. Okay, so we've come down to our last row. And with these five, what I would do is just take one of your extra. Again, don't cut any of that off. Take a, your bead, thread that through. And then just take it around and just kind of tie it. Okay, that kind of helps it so that if it does come up, it doesn't fall off and then you have to restring it. So, okay, we've gotten here. So what you did on this side here, sorry, what you did on this side is exactly how you're gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna show you how to do this, this middle. And so I need to get me a string, a sinew. So I'm splitting mine only for the the reason that my beads are smaller um, for yours, you will utilize every single strand that you have. So don't split your sinew. Okay. So again, it's the same process. Just feed that through there. Halfway, same, same thing. Okay. Bunk. Let's see, half, and then I'm putting my needle back on. You can use a needle as well. I think I mentioned that. Um, but your, um, but your, um, your holes in the, your leather pieces will be big enough that you'll be able to just thread your sinew through. Okay, so we're doing the same thing, picking up the six beads, three, four, five, six beads, a bone, okay, two beads, 
and same thing through the spacer. And then two more. Two more beads or a bone. Two more beads. And through the spacer. Okay, so we've gotten So we've gotten here, okay? And what you're gonna do is, you remember how we did the, um, why is this short? Uh, okay, it's short. As you can see, I did not put enough beads on here. So I am going to take it out and redo it. So one more bead. There we go. We got. Sorry about that, this little mistake. And that's what could happen. Um, you know, you could have the whole thing strung up, and then down here you forget a bead, and it's just not very fun when we get to take it out. But um, we take it out and we redo it, and we stay calm, and we are okay with that because there is nothing um, wrong with taking it out, making a little boo-boo. So we just keep on going. And again, mine's definitely smaller, so I don't have to take as much as you would have to do if you were to make that mistake. So here we go. If you remember how we did the, um, the I'm gonna move this pipe bone necklace, you're gonna do the same thing so you're gonna keep your string and you're gonna just go back down. These are where the um, five foot strings come in. Okay, I forgot to mention that. The five that are out, the five that are out here are the 10 foot strings. So you should have 10 of those. And then you have the, the ones in the middle. So we re-threaded that, just looped it right on down around. And these are the ones um, that you will um, do this with. So the outs, oh, almost forgot my beads here. And then through the spacer. Like that. And then two beads. Bring my bones over here a bone, and then six beads. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the difference. So I would take, if you have a long, long piece of string, just cut some of that off. So this is the difference, is you're going to tie your bell on. Um, so you, so for these middle ones, you're just going up and back down. Okay. And I would have a lighter and some scissors on hand. You just cut that, leave a little tail and burn, burn that off. And there you go. Okay. So I'm going to get my next piece, uh, put my bell on. And then I'm gonna also use my needle. Okay, here we go. So again, six beads. Three. 
four, five, six beads of bone and two beads and through the spacer. So we're just repeating the process of our last two. Uh, two beads, a bone, two beads, and through the spacer. Okay, here we go again. So we're at, ah, what happened here? Let's see, kind of got it tangled. Oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're here. We're right here in the middle. And then we're going to go back down. One, two, a bone, and one, two. Okay, so. What's happened here? Okay, so that got kind of tangled there. It's okay, it's okay. 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 We're okay here. Okay. And two more beads. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So there we go. We're at the end. Taking my, I'm going to cut some of this off so that I have control over my thread when I'm dyeing it. And then Find my two pieces. Oh. There we go. Oh, just splitting those every which way here. Um, well, that looks good. Okay. And then you're going to put your bell on. Tie it in a knot, a tight knot to make sure that everything um, from this second one here where we went up and then down that it's all tight. Tie that in a knot. Okay. And then cut that. And then I'm just going to burn it. Oops, get that out of the way. And burn my ends so that those can stay. Okay, so there you go. And then I only did two just to show this part. Get me a pencil. So you have five. One, two, three, four, five. Move it up here. So I just counted those one, two, three, four, five. So those all go up there. You got five here. So you'll have to go from, you're going to be doing three of them. Okay. So you tie your bell, go all the way up and swing it back around and then tie it off. Same thing. We repeat your process around, go back down, tie your bell. Tie your bell on, all the way up, around, and down. And then you're gonna, whatever you did on this side, you're going to do on this side. So you're gonna tie your bell, go all the way up, leave your string hanging. Come down here, tie your bell, all the way up, and leave your string hanging. So I will start this side with you. Again, put your string in half. And put your bell on. Okay. Again, I am going to cut that so that I can 
thread my needle. And I'm going to count out six beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Six. Grab me some bones here because I don't have any. Six, and then a bone. Repeating the process again on that side. One, two, and back up that. Oh, my stuff here in the way. Okay, then two beads, and a bone, and another bead, and a bead. And then through the spacer. Oh no. Okay. So you're just um, imagining that we did three of those and we only did two um, just for time's sake. Again, just to give you the idea, you have done this um, technique on your choker or your hair pipe bone necklace that we did. Um, the second week or the second project that we did. So you should be familiar with that. Oops, that one's got a little hole. We'll do this and then two more beads. And then you grab your other, your other spacers and you start working with those. So one, two, this bone. And a spacer, or I mean a bead, and then your spacer. One, two, a bone, and two beads and a spacer. Okay, so we're back up on the top here and then you're just going to withdraw your string and let that hang there and then we start doing this other side so i'll do one more um, with you and again i'm splitting my sinew because i have smaller beads and um smaller bones that I'm working with. So with you, you will continue to use your full nine foot um, sinew. Oops, can't do that yet. And we have this one. And again, remember that the, the 10 or eight foot ones that are marked go on the outside. You should have 10 of them. And then the other ones go on the inside because those ones are a lot shorter. So let's see. I have that. I'm putting my needle back on. There we go. Here we go. OK, six more. One, two, three, four five and six and a bone. See if we can move a little faster here and two beads and through the spacer. One, two, a bone and one. Two, whoops, I'm gonna do these ones. Two. And one, two. A phone. And a spacer. One, two. And 
up spacer. And then two more. Last one. And then one, two. And back up that last spacer. And I'm ready to take my string off. And that again just lays flat. Okay, so keep on working. It's going to be so cool, you guys. Okay, so keep on working and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back to do the last one with you. Um, I ran out of bells, so I'm going to use a shell. Um, shells or um, deer hooves. Um, bells or what else did we put on there? You can put coins on there. Um, you know, whatever you want on the bottom. Uh, thimbles. Some people use thimbles. Um, elk teeth. This one's a cowrie shell, so I'm just going to use that because I ran out of bells. And let's have our little thing here. So here we go on our last stretch. Three. Two. There's five. And six. And we're still repeating the same thing, doing the same pattern. Just doing our last line here. Again, you guys will, you know, have an extra middle here that I didn't put in on this one. So just keep on stringing. One, two, a bone and Okay, so we're at the end here. Take my needle off and put that right, well, put it in here so I don't lose it. Okay, so we're at the end. Um, I'm going to put these away so that I don't move them all over the place here. So, and that, and then I'm going to pick these up and put them here. And then I'm going to undo this. Okay, so we're at the end. I'm going to finish this up. And so um, there's several ways you can do this. Some people will put leather and then you'll have the leather strap. But to give it more um, length, you can put beads here. So I started um, putting beads on all of my threads. Okay, that's one way that you can do it. And you just keep on stringing. That's why you have this um, length here. So I've been just adding beads to it. Uh, well, you continue adding beads, I would do probably like 
around two, four, six, seven, probably eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, which would give it length. But then you get this effect where you will see this on the breastplate. But then again, remember when it's worn around your neck, these are usually, usually sit um, right below your shoulders and the hair ties will cover it. So that's one way. You can split your two, uh, split your five into two and three. Ah. I have two here, one, two. I uh, start putting, I'm gonna put like five beads on there. So five, five beads, oops, sorry, three beads. And then I have my three strands here cause you have an uneven number. So in that case, we're just gonna do three and two. One, two, and three, okay? Um, you can use as many here as you want. What happens is um, we can do, Let's do five. I'm going to do five. So if you have extra beads, this is what you're going to do. Or you should have extra beads. So two more. Okay, and then I'll put two more on this string. So again, I have my three and my and two strands here. Since we have an uneven number. Let's see. Okay, so we have that going there. So this is another way. And then you start putting the sinew. I'm just gonna cut mine into a little slant there. And then you start counting beads. I would do about, um, depends on how much, um, how lengthy you want it. You'd probably have to put it around your neck or around, you know, kind of guesstimate. Um, how long you want that. So one, I would do about 15 to 16 beads. Again, depending on how long you want that, that bead. And there's two. So this is the difference between those is this will hide and then this one if you can see that, maybe I can put it on this. So you can see that kind of has that little look there. When you tie it tighter, it will go a little bit closer versus this one, it's more hidden. Okay. So I'm not gonna tie it. I'm just gonna leave it like that um, for, Oh, let me see. Sorry, I have to dig for stuff. I know that mine is not the biggest, um, a big, but yours is big enough to put one of these shells on once you start putting those beads on that you, you know, you have them at the length that you want them. You're going to, th I don't know if I gave you these. I didn't think I was going to have enough actually, but, um, if you do come in, when you come in for your next packet, um, I'll give you one of these shells. Uh, you should be able to thread all your pieces in there. I'm just doing this just to show you um, what you can do. I'm not gonna tie mine because again, I have to get uh, another mitt bell down there instead of using that cowrie shell. But usually you'll go so let's say I have it all where I want it to be. All my length, my beads should be probably, you know, out to here. Goes around my neck. This would be around your neck. And then this would come oops, like right here. It should sit right here, start piecing. So 
you would basically, um, I usually tie, well, tie ribbons here. Um, let me see if I can stop this for a minute. Okay, so we have them. I wouldn't use this, of course, on this one because um, it's too big, but I will, I, will, I will give those to you when you start um, doing your uh, finishing it off. So remember, we have this where you're going to be able to see it, push it a little bit more, it's okay. And then you have this style. So I'm not going to tie mine, but um, what you do is usually I will grab my ribbon. Um, you can opt to put the ribbon on or not. Um, I put it in between here and usually just tie it off. Okay, and I'm not gonna tie it in a, I would just tie it in a bow. I'm gonna just tie it in a bow. You would tie it in a knot and then just burn it off. Okay, but for mine, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, sometimes you will have to take a needle so that this is, um, once it goes around here, I will go ahead and move this now here. So hello. Um, so here's what you made. So this is the uh, breast woman's breastplate again. Um, it would be worn around the neck there, this is my neck. And then this would be on the back. Okay, sometimes a lot of um, women will make the, the ribbon long to touch the ground or above or to meet their, their skirt. So it become you know, the ribbon's long. Um, so yeah. So there you go, you guys. You've made your, your woman's breastplate. And I do believe that's it. Um, sometimes women um, do, you guys can have one of these. We can go ahead and sand and paint those, the four direction colors or colors that you would like. We could put holes there and put feathers in there and we can attach it to the front. Again, this is, very small so um just think if you had it this made with this so you have four um you have these going up um and once you get this this would be put on there um right there tied on decorated um i do have some of these for my class the abalone obviously um Oh, so um, abalone, I can give you, um, yeah, some pieces. I don't even know what I did with them, you guys. Oh, here we go. Um, sometimes women use abalone here. Again, running the ribbon off from it. So it, the, oh, you know, it's endless what you can do with these. Um, Again, we can punch holes in these and then you guys can um, paint them and then run ribbon off from them. So it's your choice. You can decorate and put other things on there that you want. I do have um, deer toes that you could put leather here and then run them down as well. And then when you're dancing, you get that, that um, noise. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, make it your own, design it. Um, work with a good heart, good feelings, positive um, energy goes into this uh, project. And I will see you on the next project. If you have any questions, feel free to call me, uh, text me and email or email me. And other than that, I will see you in the next class and on our next project. Thank you.